Today we're going to be taking a brief look at the Cybex e -Pream. This is the third installment in what we're thinking of as mini-reviews, meant to give you a basic impression of models that we don't currently have time to cover with a full review. For our channel, the e -Pream is, in a way, not worth a full review anyway, since other than the motor functions, it is identical to the regular Pream, and despite some misleading information out there, there have really been no relevant mechanical changes made to the model since our review in 2019. What has changed since then, however, is the wider market, and the Pream's place in that market. So, before we discuss those nifty motor functions, let's revisit the basic model for a moment to get a picture of the Pream as a whole. The Pream is an urban-oriented, mid-sized, four-wheel, swivel-wheel, reversible seat model whose main selling points, other than the snazzy piping, are mainly its highly adjustable seat, its one-handed, one-piece fold, and its relatively light weight. Mechanically speaking, the model is generally unremarkable in its price class, with its strongest attribute being a pretty simple and solid central folding mechanism, which was more exciting at the time of its launch, as were its slightly larger than average front wheels, when the mid-sized market was mainly dominated by style-oriented but structurally weak models. Since that time, however, the market has changed, phasing out a lot of those less practical, showy models in favor of a variety of models built both stronger than the Pream and with either the same sized or larger front wheels. Yet despite this, the Pream does stand out now, as it always has, in one distinct way. It's criminally expensive. With the basic model, this is just impossible to justify in my opinion, and always was really. But with the e -Pream, which costs even more, it's harder to know, right? Because it's electronic and motorized, and those things cost money. So let's jump into it then, and have a look at those motor functions, to see whether the e -Pream has earned its price tag. For those of you who don't fully understand how the model works, the motorized functions of the e -Pream essentially claim to offer the following, that the model takes less force to push over rough terrain or up hills, and also takes less force to hold while descending hills due to its braking function. Now, despite wide cries that this is all just a gimmick, I do actually feel that these functions could prove quite useful to a very specific portion of the public. This is a special needs model, only it hasn't been advertised that way. So before I explain where and for whom this stroller could be useful, let's address the rest of you. As far as powering over rough terrain is concerned, I would remind you that the e -Pream is only the regular Pream with a motor, and the regular Pream is a city model. If you drive it too often over rough terrain, you will break it. The world is not made of foam rubber, and I'm hoping that if any of you see anything even remotely like those hilly mats that they have next to the e -Pream display in every stroller store where it's sold, you'll be smart enough to avoid those patches. Regularly using the motor to force your way over rough terrain like that is a death sentence, especially for the model's front wheels and housings. And Cybex's guarantee is pretty bad too, by the way, designed to cover the minimum they can get away with, as far as I read it. Understanding then that the motor does not turn the basic Pream into a dirt bike, let's address going uphill. Here the motor will make pushing the model easier, but please note that we're already talking about smooth pavement and a stroller that's pretty lightweight and maneuverable. So how useful is this function then really? To touch the subject delicately, does the choice not to push a lightweight wheeled object up a smooth paved hill really fit with the fresh and fashionable lifestyle images that Cybex uses to sell the model, or would it actually be more accurate to view this as a stroller equivalent of the fast food drive through And then there's that last element, the self-braking on downward slopes. And here I have to admit, there is some use value. Hills can be sketchy, especially if there's some ice or snow on the ground, but it better not be a lot of ice, not late winter many times thawed and refrozen ice, and it better not be more than a drifting of snow, because it's still just a mid-sized model, with relatively low tolerance for such conditions. In the end then, even though this function is a tad useful, if you live in these sort of conditions anyway, then the e -Pream won't give you a quarter of the capability you could get out of a decent three-wheeler with a dynamic handbrake. And with these motor functions being only peripherally useful, my honest hunch is that if you were to buy the e -Pream, you wouldn't be using them much anyway. The way I understand it, the battery dies if you forget to turn it off after use, just like your car battery if you don't fully close the door. And it takes six hours to charge it up. Given those facts, how many people with e -Priams are out there right now who don't use the motor functions 90% of the time? On the other hand, as I indicated earlier, there is probably one group of people who never fail to charge the battery, for whom the e -Pream is actually really useful, and that is people who have medical conditions, such as arthritis or back problems, perhaps have just undergone difficult C-sections, or are elderly grandparents. From a practical standpoint, this stroller is not just something to stand next to in your Instagram pictures. It's for them, even though I haven't seen it portrayed this way in any of Cybex's advertising. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to know more about this model or the basic Pream, we recommend you watch our review of this basic model as well. We'd also like to ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. 
In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.